to be a baseball player. I want to be an artist. I just want to play. With so many hopes and dreams, why let diabetes get in the way? Nova Penn Jr. is the first complete diabetes management system designed with children and young adults in mind. Nova Penn Jr. offers all patients with diabetes the ability to fine-tune insulin doses with half unit increments, 1 to 35 units. The pen is also available in two fun, energetic colors to allow for insulin differentiation and flexibility. This video is designed to help better acquaint you with the parts of your Nova Penn Jr. diabetes management system as well as to explain how to best use it. But remember, the video is not a substitute for reading the Nova Penn Jr. Instructions for Use booklet or for the training received from your healthcare professional. So sit back and relax as I introduce Dr. Dan. Hey everybody. Hey, it, Dr. Dan. It's Dr. great Dan. to see you. I'm very excited about this opportunity to introduce you to the Nova Penn Jr. Diabetes Management Family. First, let me tell you about the Novo Pin Jr. Novo Pin Jr. has two sections, an insulin cartridge holder and a barrel. Its holder has a pen cap that protects it, an inspection window designed to help you see how much insulin is left, an insulin scale to show approximately how many units of insulin are left in the pen fill cartridge, and an insulin scale window that lets you inspect the insulin in your Novo Pin Jr. The barrel, or mechanical section, contains the injection parts, such as the piston rod and reset mechanism, as well as the dose indicator window, the dial -a dose selector, and the push button. Now I'm going to tell you about another member of the diabetes management family, Novofine 31. The Novofine needle isn't like any other needle. It's thin wall technology and short, ultra-fine design may help make insulin injections more comfortable. It has an outer needle cap, inner needle cap, a needle, and a protective tab. Its outer needle cap was designed to perform a device function check. This test makes sure your insulin device is working correctly. To perform the device function check, you must first perform an air shot. Then you must release 20 units of insulin into the outer needle cap. The insulin should fill the entire bottom part of the outer needle cap if your Nova Pin Jr. is working correctly. The device function check should be performed once a month or before starting a new box of pen fill cartridges. If you're unsure or have problems with your device, notify your healthcare professional or call 1-800-727-6500 immediately. Next, I want to tell you about another part of your Novo Pen Junior Diabetes Management System, the Penfill 3 milliliter cartridge. The Penfill cartridge contains 300 units of your prescribed insulin formulation. It also has a front rubber stopper and a rear rubber stopper, as well as a threaded plastic cap. Remember, you should store all unused Penfill cartridges in the refrigerator but cartridges that are in use should be stored in the pen at room temperature. Novolin N cartridges that are in use can remain unrefrigerated for 14 days, Novolin R cartridges for 28 days, and Novolin 7030 cartridges for 10 days. Okay guys, are you ready to learn about the final part of your Novo Pen Junior Diabetes Management System? Yes! Yeah. Great! Yeah. I think you're really gonna like this part. The Novo Pen 3 Penmate tends to be very popular with my patients. It helps insert the needle for quick and easy injections. Now that you know a little bit about your Novo Pen Junior Diabetes Management System, I'm gonna show you how each part works together 
to help with your insulin injections. Come on. Sam has volunteered to help us out, along with her mother. Samantha's been a patient of mine and has been using the Novopin Junior Diabetes Management System for a couple of months now. Sam, what do you think of it? It's pretty easy to use, and all my friends like the cool design. So would you mind assisting me uh, in the demonstration? No problem. First, let's go over how to insert the Novolin Penfill cartridge. Before you do that, though, make sure you have a type of insulin that has been prescribed for you. If you use two types of insulin, you're in luck. Noble Pin Junior comes in two cool colors to help you keep them separate. Once you've done that, gently twist the pin cap and pull it straight up and off. Then unscrew and remove the cartridge holder. Make sure a zero appears in the dose indicator window. If the piston rod is sticking out, turn the reset mechanism to the right until the rod is flat against the end of the reset mechanism. Only do this when you're inserting a new cartridge. Make sure you never push the piston rod back. If you're using an insulin that needs to be mixed, turn the pin fill cartridge up and down 10 times until the insulin is white and cloudy. Then insert the insulin into the cartridge holder. Finally, screw the barrel onto the holder until tight. Remember, if you're using an insulin that needs to be mixed, such as Novolin N or Novolin 7030, it's important to remix the insulin in the pen before each use. Okay, you're now ready for the next step, which is to perform an air shot. This step puts the piston rod against the rear rubber stopper to make sure you're getting the right amount of insulin. First, attach the Novofine disposable needle by wiping the rubber stopper of the cartridge with an alcohol swab, removing the protective tab from the needle, and then screwing the needle onto the end of the cartridge. Next, turn the dial-a-dose selector until two appears in the dose indicator window. Then remove the outer and inner plastic needle caps. Finally, while holding the pen upward, tap the pen fill cartridge holder with your finger a few times to release any air bubbles and press the push button as far as it will go. A drop of insulin should appear at the needle tip. If not, repeat these steps until a drop of insulin appears. You're now ready for step number three, dialing your dose. But first, make sure the dose indicator window is set to zero. Next, turn the dial a dose selector until your dose appears in the dose indicator window. Half units are shown as long lines between the numbers. Oops, you dial too large a dose. Oh, no problem. You can cancel the dose without wasting insulin. First, pull the cartridge holder down and away from the barrel, and while holding them apart, gently press the push button against a hard surface and release your grip. Now, the most important step, injecting the dose. But first things first, make sure you wash your hands with soap and water. Then wipe the injection site with an alcohol swab. You want this area to be clean and dry. Pinch the skin about to be injected and insert the needle using the injection technique recommended by your doctor or healthcare professional. Next, press the push button as far as it will go and hold it in the skin for six to 10 seconds. Then remove the needle from the skin. Always be sure to check the dose indicator window to make sure you've injected the full dose. A zero should appear in the window if you have injected the dose correctly. Once you've finished the injection, carefully unscrew the needle. Place it in a puncture-resistant container. And that's how you use your Novopin Junior Diabetes Management System. Everybody, let's thank Samantha and her mom for their help. Thank, thank you. you. 
Let's go over a few important points. Always use a new Novalin pin fill cartridge when loading your Nova Pin Junior. Never load Nova Pin Junior with a partially filled cartridge. If you're using Novalin N or Novalin 7030 insulin, make sure the cartridge has enough insulin for mixing and remix before each use. Do not attach a Novafine needle until you're ready to give an injection. Before each injection, perform the air shot with the Novafine needle pointed upward. Select your dose only by using the number in the dose indicator window. Do not use the clicking sound to set your insulin dose. Check the dose indicator window after each dose to make sure you've received your full dose. A zero should appear in the window if you've done this correctly. Carefully remove the Novafine needle immediately after each injection. Make sure the cap is not on. Do not try to refill a pen fill cartridge. Be sure to perform the device function check regularly, such as before starting a new box of pen fill cartridges, or if you think your Nova Pin Junior device is not working properly. But first, perform an air shot. If there's a pen fill cartridge in your pen, be sure to store the device at room temperature. Never keep your Nova Pin Junior in areas where there may be extreme temperatures or allow it to be directly exposed to the sun. As with all medications, store Nova Pin Junior out of the reach of other children. That's it. What do you think? Simple, right? I can do that and play baseball. <laughs> Should my child inject without my supervision? That's a good question. The American Diabetes Association recommends that insulin be self-administered, but it's up to you and your health care provider to determine what's best for your child. I think the different pen colors are really cool. And they'll help my daughter distinguish between her types of insulin. I just want to thank Dr. Dan. It's great to finally see an insulin delivery system designed with children and young adults in mind. The half unit increments help with dosing accuracy and flexibility. And the easy-to-use design makes the device convenient for our kids' busy lifestyles. Let's all thank Dr. Dan. Thank you, Dr. Dan. Thank you, everyone. Just remember, if you have any questions about your Novopin Junior Diabetes Management System, be sure to contact your doctor. Or visit www.insulindevice.com or call 1-800-727-6500. It's been fun. We'll see you soon. Novo Pen Junior is for single person use only. Novo Pen Junior is not recommended for the blind or visually impaired without the assistance of a sighted individual trained in the proper use of the product. The American Diabetes Association recommends that insulin be self administered. The proper age for self administration should be assessed by the adult caregiver. Any change in insulin or insulin dose should be made cautiously and only under medical supervision.